Hi, Recapped Mystery Films here. Today I'm going to explain the 2012 Australian-German drama movie called The Wall. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. A thrill-seeking woman is suddenly trapped in the cold and mystic Alps by an invisible force along with her beloved dog. She has nowhere to go and nothing to eat. How long can she survive? Let's find out. The movie begins as a woman travels with her two friends, Hugo and Luis, and their loyal dog Lynx to their isolated hunting lodge in the Austrian Alps. Soon after they arrive, Luis insists that Hugo accompany her to a pub in a nearby village, leaving behind their dog and the woman as she insists on resting. The next morning, she realizes that her friends never returned as planned. She now feels insecure because of the quiet surrounding all around her. The woman sets off on foot towards the village, followed by the dog, to find her colleagues. As they are walking on the road, the dog suddenly stops and starts barking. The woman comes to check, but the dog doesn't dare to move forward. It seems like the dog has seen something very frightening. She decides to move forward and turns back to call the dog. The dog doesn't listen to her, but rather starts walking back. As she walks along the road, her progress is stopped abruptly by a mysterious, invisible wall. Seeing nothing in front of her, she is totally confused. She uses her hands to feel the wall, which appears to be transparent like glass, and is attached to the cliff. After several unsuccessful attempts to continue past the invisible barrier, the woman turns back to the lodge with the dog. Along the way, she approaches a farmhouse, but is again prevented by the invisible wall from making contact with the two owners who appear frozen in time. She uses all her strength to go past the wall and shout for help, but no one could hear her. The water from the tap doesn't stop flowing, but the couple appear to be motionless. The woman freaks out, seeing the weird atmosphere, and leaves. Back at the lodge, the woman grows increasingly depressed over her predicament. It's been a long time since she's been trapped in the Alps. She goes daily to check if the wall has disappeared, but returns to the lodge disappointed. One night, there is a sudden noise outside the door which wakes her up from her sleep. She's extremely scared and carefully checks after opening the door. She discovers that the wall has shrunk itself and has appeared in front of the doorstep of the lodge. Feeling the wall, she starts screaming and then suddenly wakes up. The next morning after she wakes up, she slowly opens the door to check if the wall has shrinked. She is happy to find out that her doorway is not blocked and the wall is not there. It all appears to be her dream. After exploring the area again with binoculars, she concludes that the couple at the farmhouse, as well as all the people in the village, must be dead. During her walk around the place, the woman encounters a cow that she takes with her. Knowing the animal is both a blessing and a burden, she feeds and milks her and names her Bella. Sometime later, she gets determined to go past the wall. She gets into Hugo's car and drives down the road toward the village and tries to drive through the obstruction, but the car crashes into the invisible wall. She is injured as her head is bleeding, but the wall appears to still be intact. In the next scene, we see her inside the house writing her experiences on paper. She begins narrating that it has already been 10 days inside the house and no one has come to see her. She starts crying on the bed and thinks of the alternatives she has to do in order to escape from the situation. She also expresses her thankfulness for Hugo for storing enough supplies for the whole winter. Fighting off despair, the woman decides that she can survive the summer with the cow and her endless supply of wood while she plants potatoes and looks for food she keeps track of the passing time by crossing the days off on a calendar, a remnant of the civilized life she still retains. One day in the lodge, it's raining outside. She suddenly hears noises from outside. She is scared and slowly moves out to find a little weak cat soaked in the rain. She takes in the stray cat. While she welcomes the newcomer, the dog still remains her 
only friend in a world of troubles and loneliness. As there are now four lives living together, the food starts to get empty. Winter is approaching and she has to manage the food for the entire winter. To survive, she's forced to engage in the bloody business of hunting animals for food. She goes hunting in the forest with the dog, Lynx, but injures herself with the recoil of the rifle when trying to hunt down a deer. After the failed attempt, she again visits the crashed car site. There, on searching through the car, she finds a map which helps her to find the path to another nearby lodge. One day, early in the morning, the woman hikes to the other lodge in a high mountain pasture accompanied by the dog Lynx. Comforted by the warm summer sun, the beautiful mountains, and the gentle sounds of birds, the woman is transformed by the experience. She notices a truck loading in the woods inside the forest and slowly moves towards it. She expects someone to be present there but is stopped by the glass-looking barrier. She calmly smiles and returns back. After some walking, she finds the lodge and examines it to carry some useful equipment with her. She wishes to sit under the warmth of the sun with Lynx by her feet and the birds circling overhead in the sky, but she has to return back to the lodge to feed Bella. On her way back to the lodge, she kills a deer and also expresses regret for doing so. At night, as it is raining, she is afraid of the lightning and the thunder. She closes her ears and turns to the other side to sleep. In the morning, she hears some weird noises coming from inside a cupboard. After approaching the cupboard, she finds that the cat has given birth to a weak and white little kitten. Seeing it white and beautiful, a woman names the newborn white cat Pearl. She feels that the little cat is also unlucky, like her, to be at the unknown place. She expresses that she is just like the animals, which all die one day. Later that summer, on the 20th of July, the woman, with great effort, harvests the hay in the meadow. During the process of harvesting, she gets her hand filled with wounds and cracks. She carries a heap of hay and returns back to the lodge. It takes her about three weeks to harvest the meadow because of the weather and her physical weakness. She narrates that, though autumn was her favorite season, she was not feeling well physically. She could not sleep at night. Having dreams that were more confusing and vivid than usual, she expresses that Lynx was her closest companion after all. Lynx could never stay sad for more than three minutes at a time, and she could also not remain sad beside him. He was energetic and full of joy all the time. She also felt that there must be something special in her which made Lynx kneel down after seeing her. But now, when she walks alone in the forest, she still tries to talk with Lynx as she did before to find an empty path filled with bushes and wet stones when she turns back. In the fall, she walks to find the new path and discovers a tree full of human clothes. As the snow starts to fall, the wind keeps blowing the snow from the top of the mountains. She is forced to stay inside the lodge to keep herself warm. She is still worried about the cats, especially the white one, Pearl. Later, she discloses that the white cat Pearl died in a three-day-long windstorm. She runs back to the forest at dawn and discovers the dead body of Pearl. She then buries Pearl and mentions that the windstorm also stopped after that night. It is the first loss of life she had to face in the forest. She believes that she is the only one who can think about right and wrong in the forest. She only has the ability to show mercy upon others. On the 5th of November, the woman starts to write her report on the back of old calendars and stationery. The woman and her animals face an icy winter. She believes that Bella is about to expect a calf. Bella means a lot to her as if like her little sister who has suffered a lot in her life like her. And she has to continue hunting the animals for the purpose of food and she is disgusted to do so. She cannot sleep at night because of the regret of killing the innocent animals. On January 11th, the cow, Bella, starts the procedure of giving birth to a calf. The woman decides to assist her in the act. After some time and struggle, Bella gives birth to a calf. In the coming weeks, 
the woman grows tired and dreams of succumbing to the deadening snow. On the 25th of May, after spending a year at the lodge in the narrow valley, the woman and her animals leave in a procession and start to climb the high mountain pasture where they spend the summer comforted by the warm sun and star-filled nights. She has started losing her feelings of homesickness and anxiety. She mentions that she wrote no diaries while being in the hunting lodge in the pasture. For the first time in her life, the woman experiences a feeling of calm as if a big hand had stopped the clock in her head. She didn't even write down the important events in the pasture, feeling like it, it's so fresh she could write it many times. She is also seeing, enjoying her time in the pasture, admiring the beauty, warm sun, and the stars at night. During that second summer, a transformation begins to take place in her, as if her newer self was being absorbed into a greater whole. In October, the woman returns from the pasture and begins writing her report again. Winter quickly follows and soon the spring. She feels like time is moving very fast and cannot remember writing. She believes that if she is engaged in something, time moves very fast and when she is finished doing the work, it surrounds her again. In the next scene, she is seen sitting still on her chair thinking about Lynx. She expresses her thought that she feels pity on the animals and the people who are thrown to live their lives without their consent. One morning, she spots a white crow, seemingly ostracized by her black brethren. She thinks the crow is very beautiful, but there is an absurdity that a white crow should not exist. After its flock is flown away, she brings some food for the crow and believes it to be like her, alone in the whole forest. Gradually, the woman becomes disengaged from her past and starts growing in a new order. In June, she and the animals return to the pasture, but this year she does not feel the same rapture as before. She mentions that at the present, Lynx is not afraid of anything and also believes that she is not going to vanish into thin air. The biggest fear in a dog's life is to be abandoned by the one that they love. She thinks there is a deep understanding between her and Lynx. One day, while returning with Lynx after a walk, Lynx senses something and runs towards the lodge. On reaching the lodge, the woman sees a strange man killing Bella's bull calf with an axe. She is afraid to see that and runs inside the lodge to get her rifle. As Lynx runs to stop him, the man kills the loyal dog. The woman retrieves her rifle and shoots the stranger, killing him. She is dumbstruck to see Lynx lying dead on the ground. After rolling the corpse of the man over a high cliff, the woman buries her dog Lynx in a deep hole in the evening. The next morning, she and Bella the cow leave the pasture and return to the narrow valley. In October, she harvests potatoes and fruit and also the straw which takes her a week. Soon the winter arrives again. On February 25th, having run out of paper to write on, the woman ends her report, and the movie ends there. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, give us a like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Till then, bye and take care.